Hello, this is the Wall 200 with a very different video. It's going to be Monster Hunter beta review. And um, those who don't know, I'm a really big uh, Monster Hunter fan, and um, I've played pretty much all of them. Um, at some point, um, I got like 200 hours on each one of them. It's insane. Um, and this one's no different. I haven't got 200 hours, but I, I played a lot of it. I played about, I don't know, uh, six to eight hours already of it it's very um crazy um looking it's graphically it just looks amazing um i was actually really surprised how good it it looked it just looks so amazing i just i was just floored how good it looked um the monsters um are really uh cool and unique and um the way they have you track it down is really uh, cool. There's no longer paintballs and stuff like that, so where you can track it anymore. Um, which is, I kind of, I you just gotta get used to that. Like you have to find its footprints and uh, like certain things it leaves behind, you know. And you track it down with these uh, scout flies, which is uh, really uh, cool and unique. I think that's really awesome and i spent a good time you know it's just like exploring gathering stuff i mean it gives you a limited time it only gives you like 20 minutes to uh, you know uh, kill it um so you don't have a whole lot of time just like to look around and uh find stuff but it's really unique and um i can't wait to play this game uh, for real and i did find a few troubles with the game and mainly the the camera Oh jeez, man, that thing would piss me off to no end. Um, the, some of the camera issues could be fixed fairly, fairly easily, so I'm not really too worried about it. And the controls get some get used to. Other than that, it's pretty easy to pick up and play. Um, I'm already used to playing Monster Hunter um genre, so it the monsters weren't actually really that challenging to me. I did uh, faint a couple times to the, uh, I can't remember what it was, like, like, call it looks like the T-Rex, the Breeze Fire, I can't remember his name right off of hand, but, um, also, I think, uh, kind of Monster Hunter is getting a little bit weird with, um, I'm, I feel like it's a little bit, uh, I'm probably going to get a lot of fucking hate for this, but it feels a little bit too casual to me, um, mainly, uh, it feels a bit dumbed down a bit, um, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, because it made a shit ton of stuff super convenient, because uh, you don't have to go, if you bring your, uh, like, a wrong weapon or something, you just go to the chest right there and exchange it. You don't have to be, you don't have to back out of the quest to exchange weapons, or armor, or any of like that, so I feel like that's kind of a casual thing, even though it's super convenient at the same time. Um, there's no loading screens from what I can tell except for the beginning. So if you go into like different areas, you just go into it. It's no longer loads for you if you go into a different area, which is that's amazing. That's I thought that was really <laughs> it gets time time to get used to because you're always uh, kind of suspecting it. But every single Monster Hunter that I think there is, there's always like this loading screen every time you go into a new area. But this one was just like, you just walk around. It's like pretty much open world uh, map where you just pretty much go into the confines of the maps. And these maps were fairly big. I was kind of surprised with that too. Um, there's a lot of like stuff to collect and uh, gather and other like small creatures that you can uh, carve up if you wanted to. And another a uh, couple other things I didn't really uh, like. It's, it's kind of... Um, a bit complicated with the yeah you know, i guess everything like you have to get used to it like there's definitely a learning curve that you has to be there but it isn't incredibly bad i think they kind of over complicated a few things here and there but once you get used to how everything works with that it's not so bad um i can't really think of too much bad things other than uh the camera issues and some of the could some of the stuff that they could they could easily streamlined within the game but they didn't um i don't know how the upgrade system is going to work or anything like that but you can upgrade right there at the you know um right at your campsite which is really uh 
unique too. Um, they just did all out with this game. I was really surprised how smooth it was. I did get some uh, SPS, you know, um, frame drops here and there. It was pretty noticeable within the PS4. Um, that's, maybe they'll fix that with, you know, the actual release of the game. But as right now, it did dip a hue uh, here and there. It wasn't like incredibly noticeable. Just once in a while, you would just completely get the. Um, uh, you know, f fucked on the f SPS is another thing. I have a c couple of concerns about some of the weapons. <laughs> Holy shit, the charge blade was just in fucking insane. Like, I took care of each some of these monsters, just I completely fucking destroyed them with the charge blade. And I was just like, that was a big problem with what uh, generations, I think it was. Um, where the charge blade was completely fucking overpowered and that goes with the along with the king set too i just completely fucking destroyed the monsters with these uh weapons i just was really surprised how good they were <laughs> especially like the charge blade i was just like what the shit maybe they'll balance these uh, weapons a little bit better <laughs> when they release it but i was like really concerned about like the power of it i tried almost every weapon i didn't change it I'm not really a gunner or anything, but I will get into like the bows and uh, the the guns, the heavy and light guns. I haven't tried them yet, but I really want to. And um, I didn't try the the hunting horn, but other than that, I tried every single other weapon. Oh, I haven't tried tried the freaking uh, dual blades yet either. I have to uh, try that, so I don't know how that works or how it feels yet. But like those weapons seem to be could be a problem and it was the charge like the you know was the insect glaive is like had the same problem in generations i rode like the monster like five different times within a period of a hunt and that was ridiculous i just kept on mountain and mountain and mountain holy shit i just mountain and mounted the freaking monster a shit ton of times just with the insect glaive alone it's it's powerful as fuck um hopefully they change that and tone it down a little bit but those are the only downsides i really saw with the game other than that it was just amazing the monsters had their really good behaviors and sometimes you get other monsters come in there and they fight each other and shit like that that was awesome that that was so fucking cool to see like these different monsters that um that uh, you didn't know were really in the game just show up out of kind of nowhere and i ran into the diablos and some other weird um look like milios kind of type of a thing and they fought each other and stuff and that was really unique i i really like that because it just makes the monsters seem so alive and i felt oh there's a couple other mode downsides it was um really minor this is kind of nitpicky is like some of the pit boxes seem kind of really wonky and weird hopefully they change that hold on sorry about that that was my phone um i just feel like this can be a great game if they balance some of the stuff some of the weapons seem to be completely broken for the most part and hopefully they tone these down and hopefully they fix the hit boxes I was talking about that earlier, sorry about that, got a little distracted. Um, there's like times where I felt like I shouldn't have got hit, and times I should have got hit and didn't. So it's kind of weird that way, it's like I was quite far away from the monster a couple times and he still hit me with like, his tail or head. So the hitboxes seem kind of off. It's not terrible because I didn't uh, lose a whole lot, I, didn't, I only died once during the whole... I think I fought each monster twice. With different kind of weapons just to get the feel for it but they just, it does need a little bit of work but if they smooth everything out I, this can, game could be so fucking amazing i just i also had a few clipping issues where i was like going inside the monster i could see like it hollowed out and stuff but that is a very minor nitpicky uh thing also but this game looks amazing i'm going to buy it as soon as it comes out i suggest if you really like these monster hunter games to get it too it just looked amazing i would get the baited right now like an 8 out of 10 because it obviously has some problems maybe even a 7 because 
there's some issues with it I didn't like. Um, but other than that, I'm definitely going to get this because I think they can really smooth this out. And there's free DLC and no Michael transactions as far as I fucking know. Hopefully to God they don't fucking put that in. I don't think it's going to come in there. They said they're not going to fucking introduce that shit. So hopefully there's none of that shit. Thank you for listening. Like, comment, and subscribe.